here and chat all day. So let's go ahead. We're going to get started since two of the four people that are here are, are in a seated position. Let's go ahead and get started in a comfortable seated position. My name is Jennifer. Uh, for those of you that are new, we've got one new fresh fish in the house, ladies. Her name is Whitney. We, we usually leave the um, phones unmuted for this class, Whitney. I know I forgot to do that yesterday during the heat of power, but we like to chit chat. So hopefully that's not too terribly. Um, what, it, what would the nice way of saying? I hope we don't get, we'll have to be on our best behavior, ladies. Well, I quit. Yes. <laughs> Probably not going to happen. <laughs> Let's take Break them in well, and then clasping them, take your hands, palm facing up, reach them to the wall behind you and towards the ceiling. Let's go ahead and stretch across the heart through the rib cage. Breathing here. Maybe sway your head side to side. We're going to take our hands over towards the right. Bring them back over towards the left. I'll get us warmed up and get moving. Bring your hands forward like a calf position. And then you're going to take your hands up and back like the cow position. <clears throat> Let's do that one more time. Forward, reach those hands away from you. And then back. One more circle, maybe. I'm going to do two more circles. And then the other direction. And now let's come shake out your arms to your hands and knees. Plug those toes into the mat. Plug your hands into the mat. So your, your fingers are like your toes, right? Really press into those fingers and plug into the toes and lift the knees. Holding the knees here for five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Walk your dog. In yoga, we talk about ujjayi breathing. That's in through the nose and out through the nose. Make sure that you continue to breathe. Otherwise, it's just gymnastics, right? Let's come back to the, that knee hover. This time for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to downward facing dog. Really press the chest towards the thighs during this warm up to wake up those shoulders. Last time, we can come here to the knee hover, or if you want, we can come straight to a plank. We're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slow count of five, let's come down to our belly. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way down to the belly. Take those hands around and behind you, clasp them, pull them towards your feet as you lift your chest up. Do you wanna juice it up? Lift your feet up. Press the pubic bone into the mat to help relieve some pressure off the low back. Try not to look up, that can get creaky in the neck. We're gonna look forward slightly down. Now, if you can keep lifted everything and look towards the right, feel the stretch along the neck, center, Left, center, down, windshield wiper those legs. <clears throat> All right, let's warm up the upper body a little bit more. Line those fingertips up with your nipples. I said it. Plug your knees into the mat. We're going to do five chaturanga push-ups. You can do this from your knees. Inhale, suck the belly in. Exhale, push it away for one, two, three, four, five, downward facing dog. Good job. Gaze is towards your belly button here. Suck the belly in a whole bunch. All right, let's inhale here. Look between those hands. Exhale, walk, step or jump forward. Inhaling halfway lift. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to your side, mountain pose. Let's do one sun salutation A. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Come through your plank. Maybe do your chaturanga push up. Through upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Long stretch here along the back of the body. So we're going to do a little bit of interval stuff today as our high knee part. And it's going to include some combo moves. Y'all know I love combos. Walk the dog out if it feels good. Let's go ahead, bring that right foot forward in between the hands. If you want, you can set the knee down, coming into a low lunge. Or if you're really juicy, let's come up to our crescent lunge. We're gonna be visiting lunges a lot. We're gonna love it in our bottoms because it's gonna be awesome. One more breath here. Take those hands down, right foot back. Maybe we do two chaturanga push-ups. One, two, downward facing dog. We're gonna take that left foot, bring it forward. Remember, you can plug the right knee down to raise the right, the hands up, or you can keep the right toes plugged in and hold into this crescent lunge. Sink through that right foot, out through the right foot rather. One more. And then plug the hands into the mat. Left foot back. Maybe we do three chaturanga push-ups. Careful of your shoulders. Nice. I see those shoulder muscles fired up. Catch your breath here. One more. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to inhale, look between those hands. Exhale, walk, step, jump forward. Half lift, inhale, and fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, hands to your side, mountain pose. So let's do a sun B to move through it, and then we will um, add some weights. How does that sound? So inhaling into chair pose. Sink low. This is Marsha's favorite. Sink a little bit lower. <clears throat> and on the exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Take your vinyasa. Plant that left heel down, left toes facing the front left corner of the mat as you bring the right foot forward, coming into your warrior one. I completely forgot to turn, holding it here for three, two, one. Plant, take, plant your hands and take your vinyasa while I strip this mic off. There will be no proof. Bring that other foot forward, planting that right heel down, coming into your warrior one on the left. Sinking down here, really feel the nice stretch along that right hip flexor. Building some heat into the left thighs for three. Sink lower, two, one. Plant your hands, vinyasa. You guys nice and warm yet? Oh, yeah. I had the heaters on in here this morning. Y'all would have hated me. All right. From here, we are going to look between our hands. Walk, step, jump forward. Grabbing your cans of green beans, maybe. Come to your chair position. Now notice I'm holding the cans of green beans with my palms up this time. This is less of a palm hand exercise. It's more biceps, but it's not much. We're here in chair. We're gonna go from chair pose to lunging, a crescent lunge at the back holding the palms up. Let's do this for H. So sit into your chair, lift your left leg, set it to the back, squat down, come back to chair. Send the right leg back, go down, back up, 
back to chair. Let's do that. Right leg is doing the right leg lunge, back to forward, left leg lunge. Keep the belly in, that's two. Right, left, right, belly's in, chest is up, left. Reverse lunges are hard, right? Right, left. Is this number five? I'm a terrible counter. Here's, I think, six. Here's seven. Here's eight. Come back to your chair. Hold your chair. One more. Plant the hands down, maybe on your cans of beans. Forward fold. Do you like that one? Catch your breath in that, ooh, I don't love sort of way. All right, we're gonna plant the hands, take your feet to the back of the mat and move through your vinyasa. We're gonna do a similar exercise, but this time it's gonna be forward lunges. So grab those beans as you walk your hands back to the back of your mat. Little bit of rest, coming back into chair pose. <clears throat> time we're going to hold our beans down so this is using grip strength hand strength is really important because that's going to help to protect our chaturangas so if you want your feet can be hips with distance that might help you with balance a little bit as we transition through those lunges hold the cans with just your fingers however you need if you want to have your your forearms about 45 i mean 90 degrees that'll get the biceps in Let's take a big step forward with the right foot, lunge down, back, left, lunge, back, eight. Here's two. There's three. Woo. There's four. Five. Six, seven, oh, chair at the back of the mat. You'll like these or no? How are your hands? For three, two, seven, forward fold, drop the, the cans. Oh, those hands. All right, walk those hands back out to plank. <coughs> and take your vinyasa. So now we're gonna go from lower body exercising straight into upper body exercising. <coughs> take, you don't have to use any weights. You can use your can if you want to. If you have weights, you can grab it too. We're gonna do what's called row, we're gonna row, and we're gonna be in plank position. <coughs> so if your hands are okay, have your left hand on the mat, you can leave your knees on the mat as you pick up the can and shift it back. Or you can be on your toes, pick up the can, shift it back. So Yogi's choice, let's go for, are these too heavy? How are the cans? Weights okay? All right, so let's do at least eight, maybe we do 12, Yogi's choice. I'm gonna start out on the right, let's do it. Lift, extend. Don't lock out that left elbow. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> I feel like I'm breathing so heavy. I'm sorry, guys. It's probably a good thing that I forgot to hit record. 12. After your eight to 12, go straight into the other side, really working the core. Try to keep your hips square. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Planting it all down. Let's come to our plank when you're done. Holding it here for three, two, one. Come down to your knees. Let's come to a hero's pose just to catch your breath. 
So your hips in between your heels. This is one of my least favorite yoga poses up there with frog pose. Whew. Stretching out your quads here, working the knees, stretching out your ankles. If your bottom's not on the mat, you can sit on your uh, can good. Not comfortable though. <laughs> All right, let's do another set with the legs. <coughs> And then we'll get some more arms. Did y'all like holding it? Was it hard to hold the cans like this? It didn't matter. Wait, I don't know. My hands got really tired. All right, let's come on up. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Tap those feet. Make sure the cans are up toward the front of the mat. We're going to do our reverse lunges, then our uh, forward lunges down. We're facing dog. Inhaling, let's look between those hands. Exhale it all out. Walk, step, jump forward. Grab those canned goods. Maybe come with your feet hips width distance apart to a low chair position. You can hold the weights upright like this. You can hold them with a grip if you want, or you can hold them down. I'm gonna save the holding down for the forward lunges. So let's do eight more. Take that left foot back, lunge it down. Right back and lunge. Oh crap. Uh-oh, that didn't sound good. At least she's not going to the bathroom, right, Cynthia? Was that you that posted that? I can't remember. Was. There was that Facebook group post about poor Jennifer going potty on the Zoom call. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Hold your chair after eight, for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the cans, come to a forward fold. Just catch your breath for a minute. One little inter interval here. Half lift, everything okay, Marsha? And then vinyasa. <coughs> I forgot to put my husband's boxes out at the mailbox. Oh, very, very important. They okay? Let's walk our hands back to the back of the mat. Everything okay? Did they get there in time, Marsha? Yeah. Okay. All right, this time, Marsha, even if you have weights, if you want to do the hand part, you just hold the balls of the weights with your palms down. <coughs> okay. You'll get that hand exercise. So grabbing your cans or your hands, let's come back to that chair at the back of the mat. This time we're holding the weights down, working our hands, 40, a 90 degree <coughs> angle in those elbows. Let's step it forward, lunge back. That's one set. Two, three, four. Two more. Coming back to the back of the mat for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Forward fold. Release those hands. Walk those hands out. So we gotta bring the cans to go back to our rows. And then, if you want, take your vinyasa. Remember, vinyasas can always be done on the knees. That'll save your shoulders and your elbows. And then, from downward facing dog, catch your breath for just a moment. <coughs> it doesn't seem like anybody else is breathing nearly as hard as I am. Okay. Let's get our row action on. So coming back to either your plank on your knees or your plank on your toes. We're gonna do eight, 12, 15 of these, depending on how many it takes for you to get to your fatigue. That would be one. <laughs> for you, you've got eight, because I know you can. Well, how heavy is your weight? Five. Ah, yeah, you can do eight. I know you can. 
I haven't been counting, so I'm going to do two more. And then go straight into the other side. Woo, when you're done, hold this plank for five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog, hallelujah. Y'all ready for some more traditional yoga poses? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Inhale, let's take that right foot up towards the sky. Keep that right foot pressing into the imaginary wall, ceiling, sky behind you, square hips. Feel the stretch on the left calf and hamstring. Now we're going to bend the knee, bring it in, give it a kiss. Mwah. Set it down to the top of the mat. Left heel plants, warrior one. Bring your cans or your weights. Holding your hands up, palms up to receive. Let's take them out to the side. Now we're going to hang out here in this warrior one for another five, four, three, two, one, bring those cans up and all the way up. Press shoulder, press them up. Back down, all the way. So bicep curls to shoulder presses. Here's three, four, five. If this hurts your shoulders, don't do it. Seven, eight. Bring those cans back to that. Horizontal position, open up warrior two. Hold the cans right there. I'm gonna switch so you guys can see me. Okay, now from warrior two, we're gonna extend the arms out long, bring them in. Long, in, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold them out. Now, put both of the cans or the weights into that right hand as we bring that right elbow to your right thigh. Left hand's going to stay right here on the left hip, or it can reach around behind you to try to grab the right hip. Let's curl it up again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those cans down. Go ahead, turn your toes towards the center, forward fold. Enjoy a nice little break. Your legs on fire. If you want to go upside down, now's a good time to do it. If you want to get a little bit more core and leg engagement, we're going to do a low lunge to the back of the mat, stretching out the inner thigh. You guys may know what's coming. We're going to look at that right leg. We're going to lift that right leg four or five times. If you stay up on your left toes, it's a little more difficult than if you just come to seated on your bottom. Look at those right toes and we're going to lift for five, four, three, two, one. Holy moly. Good job. Y'all are getting strong. You don't complain near as much as you used to. Back to your Wide legged forward fold. <laughs> it just gives you giggles now, so that means we're definitely getting stronger. Turn towards the front. Step forward with that left foot ever so slightly. Let's get back into the glutes of that right leg as we come to a standing splits on the right. So we're going to do some curtsy lunges because our booties love them. Bend that left knee. Take the left knee behind the right knee. Squat it down for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Standing splits, holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Soften that right knee, get light in the right finger. See if you can transition through airplane pose, holding it here for five, four, three, two, 
One, soften that right knee a little bit more until that left foot comes to the mat with control back to warrior one where we started. And then point your hands, take your vinyasa. Catch your breath. When you guys are ready, we're gonna do that again. Plant that right foot down really, really firmly in the mat. Lift the left leg up. The hips are staying square as we push the left foot into that imaginary wall ceiling connection. Then we're gonna bend the left knee, bring it to your mouth, give it a kiss. Mwah! Set that left foot down at the front of the mat, right heel points down. Bring your weights or your cans with you coming into your warrior one. <sighs> Holding them out to the side. There's different bicep muscles. So when you <coughs> curl going in, that's one kind. Straight out's another. And then out to the side's another. That's why we're holding them out to the side right here. And I think we did eight for eight, seven, six. Didn't we do this? Five. Because then we did shoulder presses, right? We may be doing some extra biceps, but that's good. Now let's add some shoulder press. So curl, press, down. Curl, press, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, holding it here, open up warrior two. Now we're going to do those same things with the arms out long for eight in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring both weights into that left hand, left elbow to that left thigh. Right hand can be grabbing hold of the right hip or opening up the right inner thigh. We're going to curl this up for eight, maybe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's drop the weights down. Coming back. Before we do our forward fold, toes out, heels in, come to horse pose or goddess pose. Work in the booty, tailbones down, knees are out. Hands can be the gold post arms or they can be down here at your hips or they could be at your heart center. Ooh, I just thought of something. We can make these sumo squats with or without weights. So if you have your weights, you go down, try to touch the mat and lift. Let's do 10. Oh, that would be nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, can y'all see how I can't get down below parallel? That's mobility right here. Holding it here for five, four, three. Good job, ladies. Two, one, go ahead, drop the weights, rotate those toes inwards, heels out, forward fold. <coughs> you didn't seem like you guys were struggling at all with those sumos. Well, I couldn't get parallel, so. I, yeah, you were parallel, it looked like to me. <laughs> All right, we got to do the core on the other side. So big low lunge towards the right. We can stay up on the right toes, or you can be down here on your bottom. Look at that left foot. Say, get the up for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Drop it down. Back to that stretch. And then rotate towards the front. We know what's coming. Slight step forward with that right foot. We're gonna do our standing splits to curtsy lunges. So maybe the hands come in front of that left leg just a little bit to help you push off. Bend that right knee, put it behind the left knee. Curtsy lunge for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Coming back to standing splits. Square the hips off. Maybe if they became out of square, 
Soften that left knee, energy out through that right foot a whole bunch. Suck the belly in as you transition through airplane pose, holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Soften that left knee a whole bunch till the right foot comes down at the back of the mat, warrior one. Say a little prayer that we're almost done with that sequence. Plant the hands in vinyasa. Let's come down to a toe screamer. So we're going to be on our knees, rotating those toes under. Let me make sure the, the cans are out of the way. Invite the pinky toes to the party. Catch your breath. <coughs> Y'all okay? I don't think we've done a whole bunch of drills like this for a while, so it's kind of fun. Okay, now we're gonna do um, crud. I've forgotten what they're called, but we're gonna do them. All right, so basically we're gonna do a plank to a side plank, plank to a side plank. You can do these on your hands or on your forearms. You can do them on your knees or on your toes. Do you want me to demonstrate it first? Sure. Okay, so from your forearms, especially do this if you're nursing um, a shoulder injury, staying here on your knees, we hold our plank, open up to the side. Go back to plank, other side. Or you can do this on your hands and on your toes. So plank, side plank, plank, side plank. Make sense? Yep. Let's try to do I forgot a hairband today, 10, opening up each side for 10. So it's kind of like 20 total, right? So inhaling, coming to your plank, and then side plank on the right, down, left, down. That's one. That's two. That's three. Here's four. Halfway there. Just three more, here's eight. <clears throat> Nine. <laughs> 10. Say a little prayer, we're done. If you want extra credit, Chaturanga, push it up. Downward facing dog, hallelujah. <coughs> Good times had by all. All right, inhaling, lift that right foot up towards the sky, bend the right knee, opening up across the right quad, right obliques. Bring that right knee to the outside of the right shoulder. Shift it back. Bring that right knee to the shoulder. Shift it back. Three more. Knee to shoulder. Back. Two. Back. One. Back. Bring that right foot forward. Set it down. Left foot becomes parallel to the back of the mat. Right hand comes to the inside of the right knee as we lift the left hand up towards the sky. Your right inner thigh should be talking to you something fierce. I know mine is. Let's come to our warrior two. Switch inside so you can see me. So we're gonna straighten the right leg, reach the right hand in the opposite direction, come back to warrior two. Peaceful, warrior two. Peaceful, two more. Last one, hold this peaceful, and then come to your triangle pose. Right arm to that right shin, maybe. Left hand reaching in the opposite direction of the right hand. Or you can work towards a half bind on the right. I guess that'd be with the left arm to the right inner thigh. One more. Releasing that left hand, softening that right knee. Come back for your two. And then let's vinyasa. I'm gonna get dizzy going back and forth. Let's take that 
Left hand, left foot up high to the sky. Bending, bending, bending that left knee. Reach it up towards the ceiling. We're gonna take that left knee to the left shoulder maybe for five. Squeeze it at the top. Back, four, back, three, two, and one. Shift it back. Bring that left foot forward. Plant the right foot down parallel to the back of the mat. Left hand inside that left foot. Feel a good stretch here in the left inner thigh as we reach our right hand up towards the sky. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite stretches. Oh. All right, get light in those left fingertips as we come up to warrior two. We're gonna do that kind of flowy dance thing. So. Sky archer, straight arm, straight leg, back to warrior two. Oh, here's two, three, four. After your fifth one, we come into our triangle pose. Softening that left knee, pull yourself back up towards this five-pointed star. We're going to do some funky little booty works we played with before, um, kind of like fire hydrants, but let's make it a little bit more range of motion in the hips. I've never done this with a camera, so this might be funny. So forward fold. So let's practice this a few times where we just lift the legs. Take your hands over kind of closer in front of that left foot. Now what we're going to do is pretend we're a little dog trying to pee as high as a big dog on a fire hydrant. Lift that right leg. Set it down. Nice. Take the right hand over towards the, the both hands over towards the right foot. Let's pick up the left foot and then set it down. Did y'all feel your butt cheeks squeezing to lift the leg? Now we're going to do a little circle here at the top and maybe staying here, raising and lowering that right leg with circles for five, so raise that right leg, circle it around for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, other side, what do y'all think? Lift it and circles for five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, other side, this time circle it in the opposite direction. For five, oh, that's harder. Four, three, two, one. Set it down, hands in the other side, other direction for five, four, three, two, one. Back to separate leg stretching. Five more fire hydrants. Let's lift that right leg for five, four, three, two, one, drop that right foot down, lift the left leg for five, four, three, two, one, hallelujah, that's done. Take your hands towards the front of the mat, rotating your body towards the front of the mat, big step forward with that right leg, shake it up. Oh, okay, that deserves a malasana squat. Open your feet out wide, heels in, malasana. Oh my gosh. I was thinking we would balance really fast, before we came down to the mat. Y'all cool with that? We would what? Balance, do some balancey stuff. Or would you rather do crows? Let's balance. Let's balance, yeah. Let's balance. All right, so sit up real tall. Push those elbows into your inner thighs. Squeeze your butt cheeks together. Try to come up with a straight back. Good job. I'm gonna shake my bottom out. Okay, so from here, we're going to ground down a whole bunch with that right leg. If you have a wall nearby, grab it. If you don't, balance is always fun. It's challenging. It changes every single day. So take your hands to your waist. Bring your left foot up. Tie onto the inner thigh as you can, coming into tree pose. Now, we got to use our hand to get us here into tree pose, right? Let's take our left knee forward, releasing that foot from the left or right thigh. 
Holding it out here, if you want, you can extend it out straight for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, open it up to the side for five, four, three, two, one. Now see if you can, without using your hand, come back to your tree pose for five, four, three, two, one. Did you feel your left butt cheek have to work harder for the tree when you didn't use your hand? <coughs> that, that was sort of the exercise. And if you didn't, that's cool too. All right. Let's do this on the other side. I'll do it this way so you guys can see. So when I use my hand, I can get my right foot all the way up high. But notice it when it comes back. So let's set up for our tree. Balance uses core and glutes like it's nobody's business. Sucking it in here. Make sure that right foot is pressing into the left thigh every bit as much as if it was pressing into the ground. We're going to bring that right knee forward, releasing the right foot from the thigh. And if you want, you can extend that left leg out straight for five, four, three, two, one. Bend the right knee, open it up to the side for five, four, three, Two, one, come back to your tree. Woo! For five, four, three, two, one. Take it out. Shake it out. <clears throat> was that a slightly different tree experience? It was. Ooh, let's, let's vinyasa this one out. Hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, exhale, plant your hands, meet me in plank. See, our bodies are super efficient. God made us like incredible machines. We're very, very, very efficient, which means our bodies want to be lazy. Our glutes are huge muscles, huge muscles that go to sleep a lot. And so I like to fire them up holding this plank. Let's do, you can come down to your forearms. We're gonna do like plank jumping jacks. Legs out wide, bring them in. Wide, bring them in. Wide, nice, Cynthia, in. Wide, in. In. <laughs> in. In. Two more. In. Last one. In, downward facing dog. Say a little prayer. Bring your knees down to the mat. Sitting back on the heels in a thunderbolt pose just to catch your breath. Let's do a back bend. No. Did your dog think that was playtime? Apparently. I think he thought it was loving time. Can you blame him? He's so cute. Okay, we have some options. We can go straight into camel pose if you want. Or we can do, um, sometimes in Hatha classes, it's called like a... Uh, it's, a, it's another version of a half moon pose. It's way harder for me. Um, so you'll get to see me shaking. So I'll demonstrate this, this version of a half moon pose. You set up just like you would for camel with your hands two fists width distance apart, your knees rather, two fists distance apart. Coming up to your uh, shins. Reach your hands up and overhead, clasping in a nonviolent gun. Now, I'm gonna go this way really fast so you can see it. Don't let your booty stick out. Lengthen through the tailbone. Keep the hips pressing forward. Now with your toes planted into the mat, shins planted into the mat, squeezing the biceps, maybe look up towards your hands and see if you can take your hands. We have ceiling tiles at the studio. You may not have ceiling tiles. Pretend you have a ceiling tile and take your pointer finger back one, leave your hips right where they are. Take your hands back one more. Hips right where they are. Hands back one more. And see if you can go back one more, holding it here for five, four, three, squeeze, two, one. Holy moly, releasing this here. Come on back. That is so much harder for me than camel pose. What about y'all? Oh, yeah. So we're going to do that or camel pose, I'll demonstrate camel. In case, Whitney, you're not sure what camel is, plus I want to break. Yogi's choice, we're going to do it two more times for a total of three back bends. 
Here is a camel pose, or you can do that half moon. You can do camel pose with your toes plugged into the mat like this, Whitney, or with your toes flat on the mat. If you want, make sure your, your um, hands are in your yogi pockets, leaving your hips forward as you reach back to grab one or both heels. And that's a camel pose. I'm gonna hold my next back bend. Let's hold it here for five breaths, wherever you are. Both of these options lift up through the chest before you go back for five, four, three, two, one. Holy moly, come on out. <sighs> Either come into your thunderbolt pose, thunderbolt, you sit on your heels. Hero's pose, your heels are on the outsides of your bottoms, your bottom, your butt cheeks. We got one more back bend. So I did a big chakra flow yesterday. It actually wasn't big. It was only 45 minutes and it'll probably get released on our YouTube channel. Super easy class, but we did that half moon version. I was shaking like a leaf. Let's do this one more time. This is good. That half moon version is good for your sacral chakra in case you guys care, um, which could mean lots of things. Don't try to analyze it too much. Hands in your yogi pockets if you're doing your camel. Hands up overhead, squeezing your ears together. Let's hold whatever back when we're doing for five, four, three, two, one. Come on out of this child's pose. Oh. Two more. Lifting yourself up. We don't have tons of time yet left, so let's stretch out our bottoms. So coming up, let's come to a seated position. We're going to stretch out our bottoms with a fire log. So it's kind of like pigeon, but you get both hips at the same time. So I'm going to start out with my left shin parallel to the front of the mat. My right shin is sitting on top of the left. The, you want your ankle supported by the knee. The closer your knees are together, the more intense this is. If your right knee or your left knee are dangling out in space, grab a couch cushion, a blanket, something to relax them. And then you lean into this. Anybody not feeling this on the outside of your butt cheeks? Because we did a lot of butt today. Let's switch sides. Ooh, so the right <coughs> shin is down, left shin is on top. Make sure that you protect the, that ankle so it's not like inside the inner thigh. That ankle's either supported by the right knee. I love all of the pets. Like this is the best part of our shutdown is like seeing everybody with their pets and trying to practice. It's awesome. Inhale, let's go ahead and come up. We're gonna do one more, just one boat because it wouldn't be yoga without a boat pose. And then if you wanna do an inversion, go for your inversion because I didn't give you guys much time for inversions. So take your hands, feet are about hips width distance apart, holding on to the, inner, the backs of the thighs if you want to as we raise one or both feet, shins parallel to the mat, hands letting go maybe. We're gonna tap that right toe down and then the left toe. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, let's do it, right, left, right, right, one more, 
Knee to the chest, fully moly, slow count of five, rolling yourself out to a long body stretch. <sighs> now, if there's something that you're dying to do, like an inversion, maybe a supine twist, that's where you bring your knees to your chest and let them fall over to one side or the other. Whatever you're feeling like doing, go for it for the next maybe 10 breaths, or if you're completely done, go into your final resting pose, go each choice. I feel bad because I know inversions are always a big hit for at least one person in this group. I wanna make sure everybody's <laughs> needs are met. If you've twisted, make sure you twist to both sides. If you've twisted to both sides, like me, you can bring your knees into your chest or you can do a happy baby. Happy babies where your knees are on either side of your chest, pulling those knees down towards your underarms. You can play with letting your tailbone up off the mat or keeping it on the mat, Yogi's choice. And then when you are done, 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 lengthen out your hands and legs in opposite directions. Stretching it out here and then come to your final resting pose, your Shavasana pose. You guys worked really hard today. Give yourself at least a couple of minutes to integrate that fight or flight, that sympathetic and parasympathetic, the rest and digest nervous system. Enjoy a nice makeout session with your furry loved ones. I like to call those my daily microderm abrasion appointments. Relaxing everything. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. <coughs> when you're ready, you'll roll over to your most supportive side. With heavy eyes, let's come up to a comfortable seated position. <clears throat> the whole point of all of these exercises, all of these postures is to um, get our bodies comfortable enough to be able to sit in stillness and sit in quietness. And I think now more than ever, the world needs a little bit more stillness and quietness. And so if you wanna spend just a few moments, maybe in quiet meditation, maybe in prayer, um, sending out prayer for a speedy end to this terrible pandemic or 
just sending out love and intention, you can do so now just for a few breaths. <coughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had fun. Maybe we tried something different. We haven't done it like this quite like this before. I hope it was good for you. And I can't wait to see you online very soon and in the studio in 30 days. I miss you guys.